Welcome to Saturday night, everybody. It's a little bit late, but we're gonna go ahead and make a couple of our Easter Sunday desserts. I was gonna go ahead and make all three, but I know the kids will like helping me make the strawberry fluff because it has the marshmallows and all that stuff in it. So we'll make that in the morning before we leave for church. It won't take long either. You just, it's really easy. Tonight though, we're gonna make a banana pudding. I've never made this recipe before. It's a little bit like my mama's old fashioned banana pudding, but it doesn't get a meringue on top and it also doesn't get whipped cream on top, which we normally either have a meringue or whipped cream, but we're gonna give this one a try. It's from a really old Taste of Home brunch cookbook. This is it. It looks really good, so I thought we would give it a try. We usually like any banana pudding, any and all banana puddings. <laughs> then we've also made Paula Deen's Not Your Mama's Banana Pudding. Uh, we've made another banana pudding recipe. We've made several different banana pudding recipes, but not this one yet, so we're gonna give it a try. Then we're gonna make an old-fashioned chocolate pie. I was gonna make a coconut cake, but I know my chocolate lovers will appreciate the chocolate pie more, so we're gonna do that instead. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I gotta get me something to drink. <laughs> I already have some water in the refrigerator. Let me pour some more in here though. Okay, we're gonna do the banana one first because I need to bake the pie crust for the old fashioned chocolate one. I just have a refrigerated pie crust. So I'm gonna go ahead, I got the oven preheating. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these out. I'm just gonna sit it right here on the stove top because I should have already had it out. So it could have been coming up to, you know, warming up the room temperature a little. It rained all day long, y'all all day long. It did not stop raining, I don't think, until after eight o'clock. It started early this morning. It didn't stop until about eight o'clock tonight, but we did go finish our Easter shopping. <laughs> search. <laughs> How would you like this chair right here? It looks comfortable. I feel like I'm Ben Cartwright. Ben Cartwright, <laughs> right? But this is old school. Yeah, I had some of them when I was in third grade. Yeah. Everybody called me Jethro. Yeah, I was called Jethro a lot <laughs> when I wore those. He's nice, but I think Tyler had some like that, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. These are EE -E, though. Elephant elephant? <laughs> So yeah, that was fun, and we just grabbed Pizza Hut on our way home. Titus is loving that New York style pizza from Pizza Hut. Okay, inside of this pot, we're gonna put three fourths of a cup of sugar. I got this magazine from Ollie's probably two years ago, and it was an old magazine then. They had a bunch of old ones for like $1.29 and stuff. Okay, three fourths of a cup of sugar. A fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. Last year, we made a three minute Easter fluff with like the different colored marshmallows and all. This year we're gonna make a strawberry fluff. I was gonna do an orange one, but I think the kids will like a strawberry one better. All right, so we've got the flour, the sugar. Now we need a quarter teaspoon of salt. There we go. Next we need three cups of milk. And we're gonna turn it on to medium heat. And this just says cook and stir over medium heat until thickened and bubbly. Okay, so we're also gonna need vanilla and vanilla wafers and bananas and three eggs. So I'm gonna be getting that. I thought I had lost my vanilla wafers. I found them. Nobody fear. I hear that somebody is still awake upstairs. I'm hearing a little bustling around up there. Oh, never mind. It wasn't anybody. It was Titus coming in. <laughs> we're not getting thick and buckly over here, are we? All of my pie plates are Christmas themed. I should get like a spring or summer pie plate. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bake this 
this crust. Talk about something to give you patience is waiting on this to get thick and bubbly. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, slicing up the bananas and cracking the eggs into a little bowl. It always feels like a holiday when you cook at night. Like, I mean, I know right now it is a holiday, but even if it's not, if you cook at night, it feels like a holiday. <laughs> All right, we're getting thick and bubbly over here. I turned it down to low. We're just gonna let it cook for two minutes, but I'm gonna stay right here with it now because it'll start sticking to the bottom if we don't. Okay, so when the two minutes is up, we've got about 15 more seconds. We're gonna remove this from the heat, add a little bit of it into the eggs to temper them. Then we'll add everything back in, bring it back over here, and we're gonna let it cook for two more minutes on low. We're gonna put in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit here and cool for a little bit while I clean up my mess from this one. And I'm gonna get all the ingredients ready for the old fashioned chocolate pie. For the chocolate pie, we need four egg yolks. And if you were gonna make the meringue for it, which I have in the past, you could just use the egg whites for the meringue. But I'm not gonna make the meringue this time because everybody likes it better without the meringue. Well, the kids do especially, so. I'm not gonna make the meringue, but I am gonna save these egg whites. I'll just put them in a little jar and stick them in the refrigerator. We'll add them to scrambled eggs. Yeah, they just like to add a little bit of uh, whipped cream on the top, so. All right, so I got everything ready for the chocolate one now. We'll go ahead and put the banana one together. Then we'll cook the chocolate filling real quick. I already took the pie shell out. We're gonna start with the vanilla wafers. And now half of the bananas. Now half of the custard. Okay, then we just repeat. Now I just have some wafers in this little bag. I'm gonna crush them and just sprinkle these all over the top and that's it. I'm gonna put the top on this. This one, you know, it comes with this little top, but you can just cover it with plastic wrap or whatever and put it in the refrigerator and that is it for this one. I'll probably just let it sit and keep cooling down a little bit more while I make the chocolate pie. First thing we need is one and one fourth of a cup of sugar, half a cup of flour, a dash of salt, and a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. So we're gonna whisk all of this together and then we're gonna take our egg yolks, mix those with two cups of milk, and then add it in here. So I'm going to slowly add this milk and egg mixture in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to medium now. We're going to put in a fourth of a cup of butter. So now we're just going to stir this until it thickens. Then we're going to remove it from the heat, put in one teaspoon of vanilla, and that's it. It's going to go into the pie shell. All right, y'all, it's the next morning. Lots of exciting noises in the background. Manly's playing with one of his monster trucks right now. So we're gonna go ahead and make this strawberry fluff. I had some leftover biscuits from yesterday morning, so I just cooked up some sausage real quick and reheated some country ham. So that's what's for breakfast. Okay, Cece, so dump in half that bag. I don't think we need this whole box. I'm gonna be getting the strawberries sliced up real quick. We're gonna use this little bit of lemon juice and just a little bit of cherry juice to pour in here and mix that with the gelatin. Cece's gonna whisk that together. 
Are y'all taste testing the marshmallows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does oh, he already put some marshmallows. <laughs> we'll dingle well. You're getting ahead of the game, huh? All right, now we're gonna put in this whipped topping, this whole container. Uh, now, I was gonna put in a little bit of pineapple juice too, but I didn't have any canned pineapples. I thought I did. We already used all of our last mix. fresh one. Just like that, good. Okay, Cece, you finished stirring that. I'm gonna pour in the strawberries while she's doing that. I think I'll slice up a few more. You hear Roosty out there? Okay, a few more marshmallows. Okay. Don't be, don't be. <laughs> That's it. This is ready. Mm -hmm.